Wow! That looks so good. Super blingy because that's just you know the person I am. Big, wild, so we'll just go all out. Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to Meet Quinceanera Come True, the show in which the Federal Light team helps soon-to-be quinceaneras from our audience achieve their dream quince. We searched high and low for quinceaneras with unique stories, and we are so excited to share them with you. Each episode, we will highlight a different quinceanera and their family, find the best way to help elevate their celebration, and of course, lo vamos a disfrutar. For this episode, we found Xochitl, hailing from Burbank, California. Her quinceanera is going to be so special, because not only is she combining indigenous tradition with Mexican culture, Xochitl and her family are also part of the deaf community, so I'm going to be helping her find the perfect dress. Let's meet her. ¿Qué pasó, mi niña? ¿Por qué tan triste? Mira la peluquita que la pusieron. My name is Sochi Garcia, and I'm from Burbank, California. I have wanted a quince for basically my entire life because it's pretty much all my family talked about since I can remember. The memory I have of my Sweet 15 is two things. I passed out in the mass and I ended up crying. Yo le, le festejé sus 15 años a mi hija. Llevé siete chambelanes, puros hombres, no mujeres. Tenía que lucirme yo, que era la quinceañera. De ahí seguimos la tradición. Sí. So I just met Sochi's family. They're so sweet. They're so amazing. We have just a few weeks before the quince, and we're going to go look for a dress. I'm so excited, but we have a lot of work to do. Hi, my name is Jose. My name is Emilio, and this is our bridal shop, Anita's Bridal Boutique. The best quality in a quinceañera dress is just the glitz, the glamours, the sparkle, all the rhinestones, all the detailing, you know, the intricate embroidery, everything that's like what you want in a quinceañera dress. That's you just want to be the center of attention and have that wow factor. The bigger, the better. What's up, guys? Today we're going to meet Sochi and her family, and we're going to look for an amazing quince dress. I'm also excited because I got a little baile de sorpresa up my sleeve, you know what I'm saying? Hey, welcome! <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? We're getting you a dress today. Cool. I mean, look at this. Look at my little my little back. You look great. I'm loving it. Thank you. It's very, it's very you. I mean, I've never had a quince, so this is my opportunity to try one, you know? How are you enjoying it? It's I can't breathe, but I'm excited. I'm excited for you to find your dress. I'm super excited. Alright, let's do this. Y'all ready? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not taking this off. I'm gonna keep it on the whole time. Come on, let's go. Do you have an idea of like what you're looking for? Honestly, probably something really classy and not super fancy, but not really super plain. Mm -hmm. Do you want like the big, you want to go all out? Oh like... yeah, yeah, we're gonna oh, do good. all that. good, I like that. What about this one? Is everyone ready? Yes! yes. Wow! Good. Isn't it like, like princessy? I think that the color is really nice. It's just not exactly what I'm looking for, and okay. I think that the beading is also really like intricate, but it's also not like totally what I'm looking for. Para mí está bien, pero si te gusta más, póngale más. Qué bonito. There's a problem. What? I don't know how to walk in it. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I think that it may be just a tad too much. One, two, three. Wow! I don't even have anything to say about it. Like, I it's literally perfect. Like, I don't have a single flaw about it. Wow. Like, there's nothing. Oh, wow. Yes. I love That's that it. one. It's I really so think that this is the it's one. Really this is your moment. This is where you spread your wings and fly. Yeah. I love you. Stop. <laughs> Give your daddy a hug. Don't be shy. Aww. We'll take it. Sochi is a person with a strong spirit. She's always had a mind of her own. She always knew what she wanted, and she would always go for it. And of course, what Sochi always uh, wanted was something that was beneficial for her, but at the same time, would be beneficial for her family. So in a sense, Sochi has always been love and light for us as her parents, for her family, and for her community. 
Alright you guys, so so far there's a lot going on and not really much is done at all. We're in a huge, huge space. We're expecting 500 people. Sylvia has a small group of people that family, friends, students, um, people in the community that are helping her. She has me, but we're in a time crunch. So I have an idea. We're gonna call for some reinforcements. Come on. Yo me siento feliz porque como yo no tuve 15 años, yo veo que se está haciendo la fiesta bonita y les estoy ayudando, aunque sea poquito, a hacer cosas que, que necesitan. You made it! Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen you in such a long time. <laughs> oh my God. Did your back crack? Uh, no, not yet. Oh, we're about to make your back cry. We got some work ah, to do. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Mi orgullo es ser guerrerense. Lo digo de corazón. Yo soy de tierra caliente. No rain today. No today, not tomorrow. It's just going to be kind of cloudy, partially sunny. We're perfect. I'm already in the zone, y'all. <laughs> Bellezas muy naturales que se ven por donde quiera. Bonito es el río Balsas con sus barcos de madera. Así es mi tierra caliente. Yo vivo de sus recuerdos. Que vivan sus tradiciones y festejos de mi pueblo. Sochi will have something that is very unique to our family and to our community because we are finally bringing in our three cultures together. That being of the indigenous people, that being of deaf culture, and that being of our Catholic tradition. And um, we are really trying to integrate and show balance. Spirits in this direction to bless Sochi on her path, complement her path, complement the beauty and the strength that she carries inside. Es una niña bien linda, la quiero mucho. Espero en Dios que la ayude para ser una persona respetable y tenga mucha inteligencia para sus estudios. Te quiero mucho, mamá. Damos gracias a nuestro gran creador por esta oportunidad de estar presente en este día de gran significancia para Sochi. Y le pedimos a todos los ancianos de los, de los vientos del norte que le traigan la, la sabiduría de nuestros antepasados. Oh, Mateo. Oh, Mateo. When they asked me if I want to be part of helping her to be part of this ceremony, and I said, why not? It was an opportunity for two reasons. I start bonding with her, so that way she can teach me about the new technology, and I can teach him about the old ways. We are right here together for one purpose. And what is the main purpose? To handle this beautiful señorita. If she can spend, I said probably 15 to 20 minutes a day, to come down and learn about your culture, customs and traditions, and get ready to discover these gifts. So that way you can be a beautiful young lady growing up, but with roots. Because I don't want you growing up. And the first time that we have a wind or a storm, you wanna fall off. I want you to be grounded into your cultura when these ceremonies, when this tradition, so that way you can go wherever you wanna go, knowing who you are. the Catholic tradition that we remember when the Virgin Mary accepted the responsibility of bringing Jesus to the world. We imagine that the Virgin Mary was 15. So all of those things are coming together to become one um, wonderful tradition. Dios Padre Todopoderoso, 
enséñanos a reconocer los beneficios de tu paterno amor. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to save me. Bless us in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. words that I want to share with Sochi. I think we put it on her invitation and it was in regards to don't forget where you came from but never lose sight of where you're going. Another quote is all the stars in the universe danced on the day that you were born. I want you to know Sochi but no matter where you go in life for me the stars will always be dancing. Para mí es una necesidad de estar aquí. No le voy a dar riquezas porque no lo tengo, pero sí le doy mi amor cada, con cada puntada, con cada búsqueda de algo. O tengo que encontrarle algo para dárselo. Te quiero mucho, mi amor. Sochi is in a time of transition and in a time of acceptance and trying to embrace everything. And she is still struggling with that, trying to compare herself with her non-deaf peers, her non-indigenous peers, her non-Mexican peers. Her friends are seeing what our family is like. She's just moving on now. She's just accepting. When I was 15, Sochi, there were a lot of things that I really didn't feel strong about. I felt like they set me apart and they made me too different. And now those are the things that I get celebrated for the most. So I hope you take that with you. I hope you remember us. I hope you move through life celebrating every part of yourself. You're gonna do so well. You're already killing the game and you're only 15. The vals was beautiful. It always kind of cracks me up too, because valses and the bailes de sorpresa, they're little kids. Everyone's like 14, 15. So they're like, they're, everyone's like, why am I here? What am I doing? What is this dance? None of the boys want to move. No one wants to move their hips too hard. You know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Sochi and her course. My favorite part of the party was Sochi's little baby cousin who was so quiet and so chilled with the entire setup of the whole party. The food was delicious, the family was so good. Actually, I had a lot of favorite parts about it. I think how welcoming they were, how much they were willing to open up and how much they were willing to teach us and welcome us into their own community, whether they were teaching us sign language or they were teaching us about traditions that we forgot about our own people. It really did feel like home. It felt like a really good space to be in. Sochi, I hope you had an amazing time with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for letting us be a part of your special moment. We really were there to celebrate you. You looked absolutely beautiful. Your makeup was on point, your dress was on point. I wish you all the best. I hope you had a good time. And I'm so thankful that you let us come through and celebrate with you. All right, let's talk about dresses, y'all. Dresses are super important. Dresses can make or break the quince, just so you know. Everybody wants to know what you're gonna look like in the dress. What dress does she pick? What color does she pick? What silhouette does she pick? Some go really traditional, really big. Some go really modern, really sleek. But it's kind of like a big deal. It's like our mini, mini, mini version of like the Met Gala, I think. So, tiara, are you gonna go with the tiara? Are you old school in that way? Maybe not. Silhouette, ooh, silhouette. If I was a quince, I would be like obnoxious with how big my dress would be. I knocked it over. I want it to be that big. Gloves, yes please. Corset, yes, ooh. When I tried that dress on, that dress was amazing. That dress like cinched me in. I think that on your day, you should be as campy and as ridiculous as you could possibly be in a dress and just kind of knock everybody dead, literally, with your dress. Follow like.